Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So yesterday was my 33rd birthday. This soul has been on earth for 33 years. Mm, what a blessing. <laughs> And yeah, I just want to thank everyone who made my day just so special. All of the messages, all of the connections. What a wonderful time to use a birthday as a chance to reignite a connection. <laughs> I know that there are people out here who despise birthdays. It's like, screw birthdays. I don't want to deal with them. They're just so annoying. But it's like, try to find some kind of solace and peace within of and and some responsibility and ownership too of reaching out to people and feeling the love from the people that love you because it's so worth it it's worth it get out do something I had to rally myself up to plan something for my birthday because you can't just sit aside and let everyone else do everything for you and I just I'm going off a little bit on the TikTok video I made yesterday. By the way, hi. Hello. I hope that your day is going well. I am Melanie of Melamind, and I am here to, to just bring some light, bring light to people, give light to people, and just let them feel energized by me, darling. <laughs> Uh, and in so many ways, this journey has of life has been about just seeing what creative ways I can exist within other people's lives in order to um, to help them love themselves. So please do that. Please love yourself. Mm. Please hydrate. Mm. This is water. <laughs> water from Gaia. And so, yes, um, I am a life coach, an embodiment coach, a branding, a branding um, embodiment coach, brand building strategist, um, graphic designer. I do I do so many things. And that's why whenever people ask me, I'm just like, ah, so much. I do a lot. <laughs> But hello, I'm so grateful that you're here. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back with your vibes. And if it's your first time, welcome. Welcome to Melamine, the community I am building to bring light and life into the beautiful existence of this realm, the beautiful existence of this plane that we are tied to, that we are sending from at some point in this wonderful earth and as we are here we get to ground our energy ourselves and grow and grow and ascend and ascend that way we are progressing what are you up to in your next life are you of a higher plane in your next life or are you ascending just within the same? What is that? Truly, put that ideal forth that you, where you are right now, all of the education that you've had, everything that you've done up until this point will help you and be your tools for the next incarnation. Assuming you want to come back, right? You want to come back to, to Earth. And so... With that, um, just try to envision whether or not you find that person to be of of stature. And so you could call that that person of your next realm higher self. You could say that the person who has the attributes of your next incarnation is your higher self. You could say that. And then just start working towards that and start putting forth the type of person who would show up as that type of person. 
because a lot of times it's so hard to vision yourself outside of yourself. It's a superpower, a superpower that I have used ever since I was little. I didn't know that it was a superpower, but I'm here to share all of all of my superpowers with you because I didn't realize how um just just different different processing that I am <laughs> and I know a lot of people are are in the same pool and like me which is why I'm like make the videos get on here and make the videos your people need you people need to belong they need to feel and belong and that's fine so here I am if you yeah 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 so anyway I wanted to <clears throat> one moment <laughs> back <laughs> um so what I want to do because I could talk forever obviously and I can go on with about self-love forever I do want to introduce myself if you don't know me I am Melanie of Melamind and I am a light here and I am a seer and I am here to I envision things I envision the future I am able to be a vessel for divine messages and you can too um and just by you showing up i mean you might as well be one of these channelers you know honestly i'm not in with the vocabulary i just know my i just know who i am i know my abilities and how i am and so coming out into the world is is just very interesting because there are labels for things already and how to describe oneself is definitely one of those things that it's like you got to get to know and how to how to say out loud I am a seer I am a seer and I'm a vessel for messages yes tarot is one of the tools that I am able to use however for the most part I really just am as I be and one of the main components of existing in this way is meditation and much time with myself, uh, deep foundational self-love, self-rooted self-love, self-discipline. And with that, I've, I've used all of my, my wisdom and not all of it, but I've, I've taken it and made it into books and online courses and um, checklists and challenges and ways that people can really get mindful about their lives and get mindful about who they are and who they are becoming. Okay. So with that, today I am going to do a little message for everyone. It's going to be in the next video. I'm going to record a tarot reading for everybody. I just turned 33 yesterday. It's a big deal for me because it's another year. This is like new year for me. Um, our next new year is in March, next March. And so we're about like halfway. I mean, we're we're to a point where, yeah, new beginnings. We'd, we'd love a nice start. So I'm just going to do a reading based on the energy of my newness and see how that projects out into the world. We do have a um, new, a full moon in Aries on Friday, which is super exciting. But when you see this message, it is within divine timing and divine alignment that you are meant to see this, okay? Bless you. Wherever you are in your journey, I send you so much light and so much... Mm, protection <laughs> mm, so much protection on your journey as you rise as you ascend to the highest that you are the highest being that you can be the person that you can show up for yourself your highest self your ancestors your spirit guides everybody who backs you who supports you and who's here for you i give you the protection mm. and i I'm so grateful that you are here. So very grateful. <laughs> so the divine message that I was channeling when I hit record um, before I got on here and before I end this video is about the 
well, of course, always the foundational self-love, but really making sure that you are not getting in your own way when it comes to ascending to the next level that you are intending to ascend. And that means while being in the middle of a motion that you say is something that you intend to do for your higher self, and then you stop yourself because you don't feel like it or because insert whatever reason you give yourself. When you indeed stop yourself, that's when you're telling yourself, I am okay with not changing. I'm okay with where I am. I'm okay with, with, with this. Okay. And are you okay? If you're okay, then okay. But if not, possibly next time you can be able to step back witness what it is that is going on within yourself and your environment which is you deciding whether or not to do the thing that is going to take you to your higher self and really get back to why get back to why you decided to do that thing okay why did you decide that that was so important for your higher self get to know it okay so we're going to use that message that foundational message, you getting in your own way <laughs> um, for the reading that I'm about to do. And I just want to give you all the love. I'll see you in the next video. And mwah. <laughs> oh, by the way, if this is your first time, please like, share, subscribe, and let me know if any of the advice in here was good. Um, was good for you made you feel like wow that was for me okay have a wonderful day <laughs>